Hello everybody. This is week three's review of our key concept, which this week is theme. So we're going to start by reading a poem together and I'm going to leave that page up so that you can see it because I want to work through it with you. So here we go to the video. There we go. Spelling bee. Letters trip over each other as they race to leave my mouth. My tongue lines them up in order as they march to the microphone. A S. I am almost alone on the stage. One last kid sags with his head in his hands. He is mouthing each letter as I say it. C E N. The hours I've spent on the floor of my room with books in my lap like wounded birds and cramping wrists now seems worth it. D A. There are lists of words scribbled in my cursive and spelled out in my parents' print on top of dictionaries and thesauruses. N C Y. There is applause and I smile. I shake the seventh grade boy's hand and whisper, I'll meet you back here next year for a rematch. A S C E N D A N C Y. All right, let's take a look at our first question. What is this poem about? Now, we always know that a good place to start to look is at the title. All right, we can also go through and look. Letters, race to leave my mouth. My tongue lines them up in order. March to the microphone. So I used that first stanza to help me and I went back and I wrote, this poem is about participating or being part of a spelling bee. It's talking about the girl participating and trying to win the spelling bee. My second question, what is the theme of this poem? So when I'm looking for the theme, I'm looking kind of for the lesson. What am I learning? What am I going from in here? So as I read through, I am almost alone on the stage. One last kid sags with his head in his hands. He is mouthing each letter as I say it. C-E-N. The hours I have spent on the floor of my room with books in my lap like wounded birds and cramping wrists now seem worth it. D-A. There are lists of words scribbled in my cursive and spelled out in my parents' print on top of dictionaries and thesauruses. N-C-Y. So as I'm reading this, I'm seeing that she's working very hard over a long period of time. At the end, it says there is applause and I smile. I'll meet you back here next year for a rematch. So using that information, I know that she smiles. She's having a rematch next year. So that means that she is done and won this year. So the theme is when you work hard, you can attain your goal. Remember, we talked about how attain means to get or to achieve. All right. Now, the third question is what in the poem lets you know what the theme is? Well, this is where I go back and look at all those things that she did. Here it says that one last kid sags with his head in his hands. That means that that child is the only one else up there. So it's just the two of them. Over here it says, the hours I've spent on the floor of my room with books. So this wasn't a quick, oh, I'll just, you know, take two minutes today after school and try and figure it out. Hours and hours of work here. List of words scribbled in my cursive and spelled out in my parents' print on top of dictionaries and thesauruses. So she's been working with lists of words from dictionaries and thesauruses. All of those are things that she did to achieve her goal where it says there is applause and I smile. So I went back in here. And I'm just going to show you this page here with this question. 
So I went back and used all of those ideas right from the text that we just talked about. So the poet talks about spending hours with books, lists of words scribbled out in her hand from dictionaries, and about her smiling when the word is spelled correctly and she has won. All of those things show that when you work hard, you can attain her goal. By doing all of those things and her smile at the end shows that she won the spelling bee and attained what she was looking for. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is this big word that she spelled. And we're gonna break it apart. A, send, in, see. Ascendancy. Now that's not a word that we know or use very often. So I looked it up in the dictionary. Oops, wrote it on the back of the wrong paper. Here we go. Ascendancy means occupation of a dominant power or influence. So this word is showing that she has a dominant power. If you are dominant, that means you are above someone else or you are the key person. So she was dominant or has a power or influence by being the winner of the spelling bee. She was better or above the person who got second place. So ascendancy, the word she won on, kind of relates to her position as a winner of the spelling bee. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions about theme or how to find it, you know how to get in touch with me. Good luck and I miss you all.